One day, Edward and Douglas were talking. They had heard that steam engines were being replaced by new diesel engines. Steamies are being sent for scrap, said Edward. Douglas's wheels wobbled. I'm glad we work for the Fat Controller, he said. There will always be steam engines on his railway. That night, Douglas was taking the midnight goods train far across the island to where the diesels worked. Suddenly, he heard a hiss. Who's there? asked Douglas. I'm Oliver, a voice whispered. And this is my coach and brake van, Isabella and Toad. Are you one of the Fat Controller's engines? Yes, Douglas smiled proudly. Phew, said the voice. We were trying to escape from the scrapyard, but I've run out of steam. Oliver told Douglas. Douglas wanted to help. We'll pretend you're ready for scrap and I'll take you away, he said. Douglas's driver and fireman worked quietly. They wrote scrap on Oliver, Isabel and Toad, took off Oliver's side rods and stuck on labels saying that Oliver belonged to the Fat Controller. Stop! A great western engine, with a western coach and brake van. You can't take these, he called. But when Douglas's driver showed the foreman the labels, the foreman let Douglas and Oliver go. That was close, puffed Douglas as they set off down the track. We hid on an old quarry line for days on our way here, said Oliver. It was very scary. Douglas felt sorry for his new friend. It was morning by the time they reached the Fat Controller's Railway. Welcome to your new home, smiled Douglas. Thank you. Oliver smiled back. 
Later at the sheds, Douglas told the other engines all about Oliver. They were very excited. You must tell the fat controller, Douglas, Gordon wished. Here I am, said a voice. Shall me watch. It was the fat controller. The engines went quiet. Excuse me, sir, said Duck at last, but we need another steam engine, don't we? Indeed we do, the fat controller boomed. I know an engine who has been saved from scrap, Douglas burst out. The fat controller was puzzled, so Douglas told him about how he had saved Oliver and his coach and brake van from the scrapyard. Oliver, Isabel and George are just what we need for Jock's branch line. The fat controller smiled proudly. Well done, Douglas. Douglas beamed from buffer to bumper. 